the OHSU Thyroid and Parathyroid Center, the people that make up our team are both medical, surgical, pathology, and radiology specialists who engage in one mission, the care of patients with thyroid cancer. And we treat all forms of thyroid disease, thyroid nodules, hyperthyroidism, and of course thyroid cancer, as well as hyperparathyroidism and parathyroid disorders, hypercalcemia and metabolic bone disorders associated with hyperparathyroidism. We have a number of different state-of-the-art diagnostic testing methods, and we're evolving as the field evolves. So molecular markers have probably made the most remarkable difference for patients who have thyroid nodules, and OHSU is now able to offer all of the molecular markers that are currently available for that to patients. That didn't used to be the case, and now we're the only center in the Pacific Northwest that offers that. And it can mean that a patient could potentially avoid a surgery altogether if a certain pattern of these molecular marker tests indicates that, and others could get the best type of surgery at the first operation rather than having to go have a surgery after surgery after surgery. Our surgeons are highly experienced endocrine surgeons, and some of us have dedicated our clinical practice and academic career entirely to this. We offer the full spectrum of endocrine surgery, ranging from resection of extensive thyroid cancers to minimally invasive parathyroid surgery. Monica Butlberg is my daughter. Um, she's a thyroid cancer survivor. She's a freshman at Boise State University right now on an athletic scholarship for women swimming. I, you know, when you hear the word cancer, <laughs> a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty uh, definitely went through our mind. I did my research, I got online, I found Dr. Shindo on OHSU. Monica had total thyroidectomy, bilateral central neck dissection, and then a modified neck dissection cleaning out all the lymph nodes. We took out about 65 lymph nodes along with her thyroid. The nerves that move the shoulder, the parathyroid glands, all those had to be very meticulously dissected and preserved so that she can go on and be the great swimmer that she's always been. 10 weeks post-surgery, she competed in the Washington State High School um, Championship Swimming and defended her 3A swimming title for the third time. I would definitely recommend OHSU to other families. I don't know where else you would find a team of doctors um, more skilled, knowledgeable, or caring as Dr. Shindo, Dr. Madison, and um, patient care coordinator Andrea Pincher. Traditionally, we used to do parathyroid surgery through a large neck incision, um, looking around for the parathyroid glands all over near the thyroid. Today, we're able to accomplish that through about a one-inch incision, often under local anesthesia with a little IV sedative, and this allows the patient to go home the same day and uh, very short recovery. Since we are highly trained neck ultrasound surgeons, we are able to find the disease gland quite easily, which then facilitates the minimally invasive parathyroid surgery. It's kind of like sending the Navy SEALs in to take out your target. Um, you get in, you get out with very little collateral damage. We have outstanding anesthesiologists and highly skilled nurses who are major contributors to our highly successful surgical outcome and patient safety. Thyroid cancer is very treatable. Depending on the presentation, people can come in with either very mild disease, a single intrathyroidal lesion of cancer, or they can come in with very advanced disease, including widespread metastases throughout the neck or the entire body. In terms of recent progress for treating patients with metastatic thyroid cancer, the past five years have been really incredible. We've seen unprecedented advances in, uh, in the treatment of patients with metastatic thyroid cancer, and this is largely due to the uh, improved understanding of the biology of thyroid cancer. It's really quite exciting. We're seeing patients living longer than they would have otherwise. We're seeing them live more comfortably with fewer symptoms from the cancer. It's been a, a remarkable transition in the past five years. We take all presentations of cancer very seriously and try to treat the patient as effectively and as completely as we can. Well, at the end of the day, I am most happy about being able to help uh, the patients, being able to cure their disease and maintain a good quality of life for them being there for them when they need me. But mostly, I'm 
very happy about working with such a great team. I'm glad that in endocrine surgery we were able to bring new ideas and innovations and a presence in the Pacific Northwest. OHSU is doing amazing things.